All right, welcome back to one more edition of Boxing. I got it. There. So, um, Andy Reese and um, Anthony Josh's weigh, uh, weigh-in results are in. Very surprising results, to be honest with you guys. And, well, let's get right to it. Um, Anthony Joshua came in at 237 pounds. Um, he basically came in 10 pounds lighter than what he came in in the first fight. And <clears throat> Andy Reese came in at 283.4. He basically came in at 15, point, uh, 15 pounds heavier. Um, Andy Reese was 268 for the first fight, and Anthony Joshua was 248. Um, on other results, Michael Hunter um, was 226, and Alexander Polovkin was 229. And then Dylan White was 271, and Maurice Watch is 275. So I um, wanted to go into a little bit of more detail about these weights which rolls and why they're so shocking and what this might mean for the fight. So on Anthony Joshua's end, um, he can. This is the lightest. He's the lightest he's ever been ever, and I think it's his whole career. Um, like I said before, um, for the first fight he was two forty eight. Um, the fight before that it was Povovkin. He was two forty five. He came in very light with a uh, Parker for two forty two. Um, against Tekan, he came in at two fifty four, and Klitschko he came in at two fifty. And for the Molina fight he was at two forty nine. Um, <clears throat> Right now, in my opinion, um, in Anthony Joshua's career, his best performances were when he was around 250 pounds um, against Klitschko and against Molina. Those were very good performances for him, and I felt that uh, he did a pretty good job. Um, then when he faced Takan at 254, four pounds heavier, he struggled, and he even got hurt in that fight. Uh, then he came back with Parker lighter again, and he did relatively good with uh, with Parker and also Perlovkin. Um Personally, at 237, I do think it's a little bit too light, um, especially now that I see that uh, Andy Reese came in at 283. Uh, <clears throat> Andy Reese last few fights, um, like I said before, he came in at 268 with Joshua. Uh, with Dimitrenko, he came at 262. With Johnson, he came in at 252. With Parker, he came in at 256. And with Lawrence, he came at 252. Now, in Andy's behalf, he came in heavier. And I think the reason he came in heavier is just because he's, he's coming to knock out Anthony Joshua. Um, and when he fought Lawrence, he was at 252, um, one of his lightest weights uh, in his career. Lawrence is a 220-pound a, a heavyweight. He could knock him out. Um, the, he won the fight by decision. And he could not go out. Now Lawrence is doesn't know have, is not known for having the greatest chin either. He was knocked out by Bernard Stavern, and Bernard Stavern, you know, has a decent pop, but you know, is not the heaviest hitter either. But was knocked out by him. So that tells you that um, I think Andy Reese, um, by gaining weight, is looking for power and is looking to knock out Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua coming in lighter makes him less resistance to punches and makes him more, I think, more vulnerable. So, um, that's my opinion on what I think that means in, these, in the weights. Um, personally, I think that's what they were looking for. Anthony Joshua is looking to be more mobile, looking to have his stamina be on point. And Andy Reese is just looking to be able to resist more punches, you know, the, resist the power, and also to able to be able to hit with more power. So, um, that's, you know, with these weights, They've basically had told you the game plan, um, even though we have been saying that, the, well, they have been kind of saying their game plan all along. So um, this is all I got for you guys for now in the way in. I will be making another video with my final predictions on the fight. Um, I also will be making probably another video on later on tonight with the Charlo brothers, uh, the Charlo fight and Charlo and Hogan uh, weigh in. So um, please wait for that, and I uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll be back soon. Peace.